Guten Tag und Willkommen. We're in Köln, Germany, at one of INEOS's largest sites to bring you this month's In TV, the show that takes you inside INEOS. Coming up, 10 years ago INEOS acquired the Köln site and it's been a huge success story. We find out why. We are a big family, helping each other, supporting each other. That's a key factor for success. We'll be hearing all about the fantastic science programs that the site runs for local children. We meet the incredible employees here who make a real difference within the local community. I'll be putting your big questions to the INEOS chairman, Jim Ratcliffe. I think that, you know, the industry as a whole has been a little bit relaxed with oil you know, north of $100. And of course, we'll bring you the latest news and insight from INEOS. This time our guest presenter is David Schimmel, the Assistant Energy Plant Manager here on site. David, welcome to the INTV team. Thanks for having me on board, Tom. It's a pleasure. Now, David, one of the great things is this is INEOS's most productive site. What do you think is the secret of that success? Well, it's 10 years ago since the site has been taken over by INEOS, and there's a lot of things that changed in that time. It's the methods and the innovations, I think, of the company that laid the foundations and maybe a bit of the German efficiency as well. I'm sure. Why don't we take a closer look at the secrets behind that success? This is INEOS Köln. It's the group's largest site, and it's a colossus within the chemical industry. We employ 2,000 uh, people here on site, 200 students, uh, 28 nations, and the size of the site is comparable with the size of Monaco. We produce ethylene, propylene, C4s, aromatics, acrylonitrile, ammonia and other base chemicals. And we are producing here on site roughly 1.2 million tons of ethylene. Just a few weeks ago, the site celebrated its 10th anniversary as part of the INEOS family. We had the confidence and we've been sure that INEOS is a company where base chemicals is a core of their business. So the focus of INEOS from day one was to grow the site. So next to carrying out bigger investments, there was also a push to try to uh, increase the capacity of each production unit. INEOS really tries to grow and to invest into the site. And we have seen a number of investments over the last years here, particularly at Cologne. It feels good that uh, there is trust and confidence here from INEOS, from the management, uh, into the site. With Köln having its most productive year ever, it's the relationship with INEOS Capital that's a key reason behind the success here. As INEOS uh, came in, it was a totally different type of management style. And together, we've been able to reduce the manufacturing cost, the cost base here on site, uh, dramatically. What makes INEOS different to other companies, it has got a very flat management structure. And so it is easy and quick to bring good ideas forward to the boards and it is possible to get a quick decision and approvals for these projects. This clear direction has sent out a very positive message and has helped form a strong bond between the site and its staff that has lasted for years. Die Verbundenheit der Mitarbeiter zeichnet sich durch lange Dienstzugehörigkeit aus. Sie zeichnet sich aber auch dadurch aus, dass wir viele Leute in zweiter, dritter Generation hier schon beschäftigt haben und letztlich auch, dass viele im Umfeld sich auch noch engagieren. The site is a fantastic example of manufacturing excellence. And more than anything, it puts that down to a happy, unified workforce. Since the site was founded in 1957, there was not one single day on strike here on site. So we always find a way uh, to work together for the sake of the people and for the benefit of the business. We have a very well-trained uh, staff here on site, which is very committed uh, to the business. And we want to be a reliable partner for INEOS to be seen as a reliable partner for their investments.
managing a site of this size is a huge task. And joining me now is somebody who knows that more than anyone, the site's commercial director and works manager, Dr. Patrick Giefers. Patrick, this site has been an incredible success. What would you put that down to? I think there are many reasons why we are so successful as a site in Cologne, but I would like to focus on one. Been parents, grandparents worked for the site and they brought all this experience to the, to the next generation. And it's like a big family helping each other, supporting each other. And I think that's the key factor for success. And this site's been an INEOS site for about 10 years now. What difference does that make? Well, I think uh, when we were taken over by INEOS in 2005 or 2006, um, we did things right, but we didn't do the right things. So I think the focus uh, INEOS learned us to, to see is um, on the right products, the right margins, of course, focus on customers, focus on safety, of course, as priority number one. And I think that helped a lot to bring INEOS and this site very successfully together. OK, now this is a, a, an old site with a lot of history. Isn't this the sort of place we just knock down and start again? Well, I think our grandfather did a very good job because they built a platform, meaning that all plants are integrated to each other, they depend on each other. And at the end, uh, although they are, the site is more than 60 years old, the plants have been renewed over the years. They are in very good shape. And I think also the process haven't changed. And why would you change something? Why would you change a good team? And just looking forward then, what would you see as the big challenges for the site in the future? I think one of the big challenges is uh, demographics, of course, because people are getting older, but we have very good plans and very good programs. We, have a, we are a, a big trainer. We have 200 apprentices, and we, we are very focused on getting young people onto the site. And secondly, of course, I would say the legal frame of doing chemicals in Germany hasn't become uh, better in, in the last years. We try to get to into discussion with the politics around here, with the local politics, and give some idea what chemicals mean for the whole industry in Germany. And that, uh, I would say, without industry, after the financial crisis in 2008, Germany hasn't come back so quickly as other countries, possibly. OK, Patrick, thank you very much indeed. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Now, the INEOS group is made up of 18 businesses. Let's catch up with some of their latest stories. Go Run For Fun is an international hit. Germany has just hosted its largest event so far in Polheim. It's all about fun and exciting and that's from the volunteers that come and obviously here in Germany and from the Cologne site we have an amazing uh, team from the apprentices that come along to uh, participate and uh, help set up all the equipment. I think for the kids it's the most important thing is that they have fun. It doesn't matter which kind of sport they are doing but it's important that they are doing sports. 160,000 children have now taken part in Germany, showing that the charity is getting record numbers of kids active all over the world. When I was in school at kindergarten, my teachers inspired me to, to take part in running and sport. So if I can put that back into uh, going for fun and make it, make it exciting for them, we could get more children fit and active and maybe find the future German sports stars uh, by being inspired by going for fun. was billed as the world's biggest children's fun run. In July, 4,000 children took part in a Go Run For Fun event at the Olympic Stadium in East London. With pop stars and athletics legends to spur the runners on, the event was a huge success. The charity has now had 160,000 children participate since its launch in 2013. In May, INEOS Enterprises agreed the sale of INEOS Styrenix to Synthos SA for 80 million euros. Synthos is one of the largest manufacturers of chemical raw materials in Poland, and the agreement to sell Styrenix will open up new opportunities for the business to continue its growth under the control of its new owners. Good products deserve recognition, and plastics are no different. Innovin recently won the PVC Polymer Category Award at the Best Polymer Producer Awards for Europe 2016. Voted for by customers, it goes to show Innovin's ongoing contribution to the industry. The INEOS Enterprises business was in the headlines again at the beginning of August. This time it was buying a business, when it announced it had bought Calabrian Corporation in North America. 
The acquisition of these new sites is a further step in developing INEOS Enterprise's sulfur chemicals portfolio. Here at Köln, we are very proud to be part of the local community. So let's see how two of my colleagues help to enrich the life of the people who live here. Stefan Bass is a busy man in his job as a safety engineer at INEOS Köln. But for the past 10 years, he's had a project that's kept him even busier outside of work. Wenn ich nicht bei der Arbeit bin, dann unterstütze ich eben meinen Vater Walter und meinen Bruder Mario damit seit 10 Jahren circa eben ein Gebäude zu errichten, das mein Bruder ermöglicht zu leben mit anderen behinderten Menschen. Mein Bruder, der hat Spina bifida und sitzt im Rollstuhl und ja, behinderte Menschen brauchen eben Hilfe, aber nicht mehr als notwendig und das ist eben eine Möglichkeit, ihm zu helfen, selbstständig zu werden. Das ist ein Schritt in die Selbstständigkeit. After many years of trying to get funding and permits for the block, last year the family were finally granted permission to start the build. Also, das ist ein unglaubliches Projekt, auf das wir sehr stolz sind dass viele behinderte Menschen mit nicht behinderten Bewohnern in einer Anlage wohnen, hier in der Stadt Trostdorf, eine mittelständische Stadt mit 60.000 Einwohnern, äh, nahegelegene Einkaufsräume, äh, Kino, alles was das Herz begehrt und, und darauf sind wir stolz, dass unsere Kinder hier zentral eine Wohnung finden. Also wir können den Zeitpunkt kaum erwarten, bis wir endlich den Schlüssel bekommen, wo wir ja auch in das Gebäude reingehen können und eben auch das, was wir die letzten Jahre mit an Fleiß reingesteckt haben, dann auch an Früchten dann ernten können. Und äh, ja, in knapp einem Dreivierteljahr, Anfang 2017, wird es soweit sein. Mein Name ist uh, Gayu Bakhtiari. I work as an account coordinator in the UK team here in Cologne in the customer service center. As an account coordinator, I'm responsible uh, to do the administrative part of selling the product uh, to the customer. This is my main job. If you work eight hours a day in front of a desk and uh, just picking up phones and answering emails, uh, that uh, you need something to balance uh, this uh, by doing some kind of sport. When I was younger, I saw that martial arts is more my thing than uh, the other sports. It's not that it, it just uh, strengthens your character and makes you more self-confident, but you get also fitter because you have to train, in my case, three times a week. It's all about uh, self-defense here. It's not an aggressive stuff and so on. Uh, what I teach you is techniques that allows you uh, to, to use smooth ways to control somebody who is very aggressive and wants to attack you by any reason. For me personally, it's the best way to unwind after work uh, and to relax a bit, uh, to have your thoughts somewhere else than at work or at home or something like that if you have other problems. But uh, doing some fun stuff and which also helps you on the street if you have any problems. Hopefully not, but uh, this is the best way uh, to react. Germany has a long and proud reputation for engineering. The products this country produces are renowned for their quality. Being one of the leading chemical manufacturers in Germany, Ineos Köln encourages its ideas with local schools and children. TUVAS is a school program designed by the University of Berlin to help kids get interested in science. TUVAS is a program that really tackles the children's curiosity. They learn how to ask questions, they don't get ready-made answers. INEOS Köln got involved with the program in 2008 and now fund the project for 32 schools across the Rhineland area. Children between 6 and 12 get ready-made science experiments delivered straight to their school. Ja, wir bekommen äh, die Sachen, die wir für die, für die Tests brauchen. Wir bekommen die einzelnen Substanzen, die Behälter dafür, eigentlich alles, was wir dafür brauchen. Also wir brauchen nichts selber irgendwie anzuschaffen und uns zu überlegen, was wir dafür brauchen. Wir haben also da sind die Kinder sehr interessiert und finden das halt auch spannend, was man sich halt gar nicht vorstellen kann, dass, dass sie das schon verstehen, aber das ist für sie sehr spannend. 
Also ich liebe dieses Programm, ich finde es einfach unglaublich konkret. Ich sehe immer wieder diese, einfach diese begeisterten Lehrer, die mit diesem Programm arbeiten und ich sehe, dass diese Begeisterung einfach auf die Schüler übertragen wird. Also die Schüler arbeiten mit den Einheiten, aber sie sehen eben auch, weil sie die Freude beim Lehrer sehen, ist das so einfach, das zu vermitteln und sie übernehmen diese Freude und machen das einfach genauso weiter. Und diese glücklichen Augen sind einfach toll anzusehen. In erster Linie ist es das Ziel natürlich, Schüler auf naturwissenschaftliche Berufe auch vorzubereiten und deswegen findet regelmäßig eine Betriebsbesichtigung bei INEOS statt. Die INEOS stellt sich und ihre Ausbildungsberufe, die nicht nur im chemischen Bereich zu finden sind, unseren Schülern dar. Twice a year, the site gives tours of its Styrolution plant to school groups from the local area. The feedback I got back just recently is that young children want to grow older in order to do the two bus experiments. I'm really proud to be involved in two bus here in Germany and I really wish that it grows. Those experiments look like fun. I'd love to have a go at some myself, but before I do, we'd better finish the show. So David, what's next? As we heard earlier, there have been a lot of investments in this site, and one of those really helped us to reach new heights. Erected earlier this year and standing at 75 meters high, Ineos Kern has a new landmark. So behind me you see uh, the new unit, it's called the C4 splitter, and the C4 splitter is part of a project with the goal to increase the capacity of the existing DRB plant. With limited time for construction, the tower arrived in pre-assembled sections from Holland, ready for installation. So the construction work of the splitter was achieved in a very short time frame. We only had more or less one and a half years of time to build up the splitter. And uh, what of course helped is uh, that we had the possibility to make quick decisions here on the site to react on difficulties we faced in the construction process. Increasing productivity by 50%, the new splitter will make a significant difference to the European oligomers business. The splitter is processing a feed called Refnate 1. Refnate 1 is a mixture of different C4 hydrocarbons. And the key uh, component in the Refnet 1 is the isobutylene. The isobutylene is converted into oligomers, and this oligomers has a widespread application, uh, for example, as specialty fuels, as chemical intermediates, but also very special application in cosmetics like lipsticks or body lotions. It's not just Köln where oligomers is booming. 5,000 miles away in Texas, there are also big developments taking place. It is a great time to be in the oligomers business. We're expanding our footprint here by, by, in Texas by roughly 35%. Uh, we're going to be adding 70 to 80 jobs as a result of these projects. And the growth is actually uh, global as well. So we're seeing growth not only in the United States, but also in our European businesses as well. So I think building up the splitter in conjunction with building uh, up uh, new businesses in the US is a very good sign for Ineos. And, and I think it's also a very important signal for everybody to the future of this site. Each month I get the opportunity to pin down Jim Ratcliffe and put your questions to him. This month I caught up with him in London. So Jim, first question. Uh, this is a question from Innovin. Um, the recent acquisition uh, of Innovin by Ineos, two years ahead of schedule. What do you see as the sort of key challenges and opportunities for chlorvinyls in Europe? Um, the timing is quite opportune really, because a lot of the, uh, you know, the chemistry sets in Europe are oil-based. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and the price of oil has come down relative to gas, where obviously America is very strong. Um, there's obviously this ruling to phase out mercury cells. Yep. Um, so uh, we're in very good shape on that front. But obviously, one of the problems of, of the PVC business has been a slow declining in demand in consumption of PVC because it's, you know, it's been driven out of yep. certain certain markets. Yep. Um, so you've always finished up with, you know, with a little bit of overcapacity, but. I think with the mercury cell rationalisation, it'll um, it'll come more into balance, and it'll be a very sensible business for us. Yeah, so, yeah good business. Good. Next question uh, from one of the other businesses is from Brea from Abbey Cohot Reservoir Engineering in Ineos Brea. Yep. Are there plans to invest in cultivating a culture of innovation at Ineos to find new and better solutions for sustainability and growth? 
in low cost uh, oil and gas environment yep. or is the focus just going to be cost cutting? I think that, you know the industry as a whole certainly when you look at you know that part of it that's around the North Sea has been a little bit relaxed um, with oil you know north of $100 obviously isn't there anymore. So INEOS has a skill set where you know it it, it, it is very focused on fixed costs, but also it's very focused on efficiency and running these big assets extremely yep. reliably. Yep. So we do think that the INEOS skill set should be relevant. But one of the other aspects of that business is quite different to chemicals, it's quite fundamentally different to chemicals, yep. is that it's a decline business. Yeah. So the set of assets you acquire is in decline. And so you have to marry it with always topping up yeah. the barrel with new finds yeah. uh, or new reserves um, or extracting things more efficiently. So if you call that innovation, then yes, it's innovation for us. Yeah. Um, question here from uh, Nicole uh, Dominguez from Inuit's you know, OMP uh, Chocolate Bio. What other events are planned to encourage young people to be physically active? I mean, that, I'm assuming he's talking about Go Run For Fun, which um, trying to encourage kids in that sort of five to ten age bracket yeah. to sort of get out and enjoy a bit of exercise and run in a race, all that type of stuff, which we've drifted away from a bit yeah. in modern life. And, you know, you've got all these various games, which, you know, you, you, you know if, you're not, yeah, yeah. if you're not careful, the kids never leave the sofa. So, and, and I think that has been tremendously popular and very successful. And I don't know how many hundred thousand kids have been through that now, but it's... Nearly 150,000. 150,000. And it's been very, very successful down in Texas. Um, I think we did some in Chicago. Yeah. And it's been down in Spain, and France, and yeah. Germany. You know, everywhere this sort of theme strikes yeah. a chord that, yeah. you know, the young children are not getting enough exercise, they're not active enough. Yeah. Uh, last question here. I'm going to combine two questions from uh, OMP USA, one from Gary Wallace and one from Steve Reynolds. Yeah. Um, You've done some really cool adventures. Uh, what's been your favourite? Still here today. <laughs> and uh, what, uh, what have you got planned? Uh, we, we've just had a great adventure in, in a country which is made for adventures, which is Namibia. And uh, it's this enormous country with only two million people and half of it sort of semi-desert. So we had a sort of um, running, biking event along the Skeleton Coast, which was about 12 days. And we did sort of a few marathons and some quite long bike rides. I think it was 600 kilometres. And, um, and a few Ineos people went on that. There were about 16 or 17. If you're interested, you can look at Namibia600.com. There's a bit of a blog in there. So one of the most serious physical challenges that we've all undertaken. Yeah. Because normally if you do a marathon, you know, the following day, all you want to do is put your feet up, have a rest and, you know, feel good about yourself. But on this event, you know, you do a marathon one day and the next day you're sort of back on the bike, you're back in your yep. running shoes and da da da. Yeah. Great. Yep. Glad that you're back safe. And thank yep. you very much for the question and ask session. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. That's all we have time for. David, thank you very much for all your help. You've given us a great insight into this powerhouse of a site. It was a pleasure, Tom. See you next time.